Hi, this is Dave Lubach from Diesel Progress, and today we're speaking with Brian Stelbrink, product specialist with Caterpillar. And we're talking about the uh, debut of your next uh, generation excavators. Brian, uh, I know it's mentioned 25 years of an overhaul here. Why was the time now? So it's really, we look at changes in the industry and, and what's evolving, and it's been 25 years with our current platform of machines, and it's time to introduce the next 25 years. So we're introducing a new platform which provides you know, extended range of prices to best meet different customers' needs. Especially in the 20 ton size class, there's so many different applications. It's at the crossroads of so many, so much different type of work. So we're providing solutions that help customers be most successful across a very wide range of conditions and, and applications that they operate in. Three, three machines that you would have debuted today. Break them down a little bit and tell me you know, some of the differences between the three. Sure, in its very simplest sense, we have a 320 GC, 320, and 323. I'll start in the middle. 320 traditional CAT 320, we're raising the bar of 320. More performance, standard CAT grade and payload technology, uh, lower fuel efficiency, uh, lower operating costs for the end user. So that's our kind of our center line, very high volume standard 320, taking it a step further. We have a 320 GC, which is a more basic in applications, less demanding applications. Because okay? if you think of a wide range, uh, a lot of times that type of piece of equipment is a support piece of equipment or in commercial site prep. It's for those that place a greater emphasis on lower owning and operating costs and have performance that matches what they need. The other end of the spectrum is a 323. The 323 is the heavy duty, maximum performance, maximum tons per hour, high performance machine. So it's really multiple configurations, multiple models to best meet a wide range of different customer needs from light to moderate duty applications on one end with lowest owning and operating cost per hour to more heavy duty, most demanding applications on the other end of the spectrum. No, I know obviously lots of changes on the uh, machine and, and lots of updates, but I know we were talking earlier and you know, engine dressing, pretty much everything kind of stays the same. You tell me a little bit about, uh, about that. Sure, so the, the real differences are you know, what the engine is driving. So it's really the, the new state-of-the-art hydraulic system, smart hydraulic system, which is really the heart of the machine. And that enables a lot of the um, standard technology that is helping operators be more efficient. Um, what's driving that hydraulic system is the same engines that we've been using in our previous product. In the 320GC and 320, we have the C4.4 engine, meets tier four feet. Uh, E tier 4 final emissions regulations. In our 323, we have the C7, same engine that was used in our previous 323. Again, US EPA tier 4 final emissions. So very, very little uh, changes to the engine and emission system. It's primarily what that system is driving, which is the heart of the machine, the hydraulic system. And and obviously, again, one of the bigger changes that, that you've made on the machine, too, is the, the telematics and the ability to measure work performance and things. Tell, talk, tell me a little bit about that. I know that's a, a revolutionary step in this machine. Yeah. yeah. So, one of, the, one of the key benefits from these new machines, the next generation excavator, in our 320, 323, we're standardizing on a full range of CAT Connect technology. And what that means is a standard payload system on board, a standard grade system with what we call assist technology. So some semi-autonomous functionality. At the end of the day, it's about helping that customer get to grade faster, uh, more quickly, more accurately, higher quality of product, less time, less fuel. So helping them get to grade, get more work done in less time at a lower cost. That's what that technology is doing. Uh, we also have an onboard uh, scale system, so we have payload system standard on 320, 323. What this does for the customer it provides real time in the cab onboard uh, information to know exactly what's in that bucket, what's going in the truck, and at the end of the day, it helps. Um, basically know how you're loading that truck, right? To minimize under or overloading trucks. And then finally, uh, Brian, some of the details, just on when is the machine, when are the machines available, and um, when you can find those on the market? Sure, we'll actually be seeing the product on the market um, the fourth quarter of this year, within this quarter. All right. Thank